Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fondin and I'm the author of Heal Yourself, A Return to Wholeness, The Integration of Body, Mind, Soul, and Spirit. I'm also the author of Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. All of my books are available in paperback, Kindle, and Audible books. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do readings, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, twin flame romance, general readings, life path and purpose. You can book that at my website, michellefondantauthor.com. And don't forget to download the free twin flames affirmation meditation. The link is below. Welcome to the Divine Feminine Twin Flame Tarot Reading, Messages for Divine Feminines and Messages from Divine Feminines to their Divine Masculine. To start, we are going to say a blessing over the cards. Dear God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, Archangels, Angels of God, Divine Feminines, Guardian Angels, let this reading be of the highest light and love of God the Father. Let it bring light, love, and truth to everyone involved. Archangel Michael, please stand guard, casting away any lower energies with your sword of light. Romance angels, twin flame angels, please help divine feminines around the world understand what they need to know to learn and to grow. So to start, we are going to get a tarot card, which is going to represent the energy that divine feminine is embodying and what divine feminines are needing to learn on their twin flame journey at any time that you find this video. We've got overwhelmed. It's the nine of wands in reverse. Nine of Wands in Rivers, it says, you've got this. Overwhelmed, you have got this. Wow. So the Nine of Wands is generally about being able to face any challenge that stands in your way. And of course, when it is reversed, it's saying that there are many challenges and it feels like too much. It feels like there's too much on your plate. You do not know where to start. You're just in that state of overwhelm. So your angels are saying, you've got this. We know it's a lot, but you do have this. And let's get some qualifiers with the twin flame Oracle deck for you guys. So. Where is Divine Feminine right now with this Nine of Wands in reverse, please and thank you. Where's Divine Feminine right now? We've got Surrender. You know, part of being able to deal with the feeling of overwhelm is to let go and let God and go into surrender mode. But let's get two more to get the full picture. What do divine feminines need to know to learn and to grow, please? Yeah, this has to do with your spiritual journey, first and foremost. What is DF learning, divine feminine learning this week to grow? Yeah, it's all about the ethereal world. It's all about the spiritual world. For some of you, you've been going through a spiritual awakening for a very long time. For others of you, it's been a much shorter amount of time. I am really excited because on August 5th, I'm releasing my new book called Twin Flame Union, Seven Keys to a Healthy Twin Flame Journey, which outlines step-by-step step how to move through a spiritual awakening as a twin flame. So I know that it doesn't come with a handbook when you're on this spiritual journey, but having someone that has been through it to coach you through, take you through, can give you a good template but this overwhelmed feeling, I believe, has a whole lot to do with your spiritual journey. It has a lot to do with, what am I dealing with here? I'm dealing with dark night of the soul, inner child work, healing wounds, getting triggered, past life stuff, clearing karma. Oh my God, my brain is about to explode. It's like way too much stuff to handle. And here, 
The angels are coming to tell you the first step is to surrender. Allow God to help you. Let go and let God. One of the practices that I was taught a long time ago was to have something called a God box. And what is a God box? It's just basically like an empty Kleenex box or an empty shoe box. And before you go to bed each night, have a pad of paper and a pen next to the God box. And you write down your worries and cares on a piece of paper. You put it in the box and you give it over to God. So that's a really tangible way to surrender. Next, again, this is more talking about your spiritual journey, that you're on the spiritual journey. It is a pathway, okay? The overwhelm can come when you want to see the outcome right away, when you're anxious to see the outcome. And your angels are saying, look, it is a journey. It is a process. It's not just about the outcome. It's about learning each step of the way. And they're giving you a lot of information in your dreams. They're giving you solutions to problems in your dreams. They're giving you um, signs and synchronicities in your dreams. And so do keep a dream journal as well, because it's a great way to get those angelic messages that you're not getting in the waking state. Um, in my upcoming book, too, I tell a really funny and crazy story about a dream that I had. Um, and so I wrote that in my book. I'm not going to sell it to you now. Use that as a little bit of a teaser. But yeah, I get messages in dreams all the time. OK, so let's get three messages to show Divine Masculine where you're at on your journey and what messages Divine Feminines have for their Divine Masculines. So Divine Feminines, what are your messages to your Divine Masculines today? I can't wait for you to get it. I have to keep moving forward. If you don't come back, know there will always be a special place in my heart for you and for what might have been. Yeah. And, you know, and I do believe that Divine Feminines are saying this to their Divine Masculines to express to them that they need to move forward on their spiritual journey. They just need to move forward on their spiritual journey through all the lessons, the learning. Um, you know, a lot of divine feminines, divine masculines had put their life on hold to kind of wait around for you to continue. And so now divine feminine is saying like, look, I'm going to keep moving forward. If you want to catch up with me, catch up with me. If you don't, that's okay. <laughs> So Divine Feminine, what is your message to your Divine Masculine, please and thank you. I can't feel you like I used to anymore, but when I do, I miss you so much, it hurts. Yeah, that is a um, thing that generally does happen. I'm going to put, put a video right here. Um, on what I posted about that specific thing. And it's called the strangest thing about the twin flame journey. And I'll just post that right here. Okay, so let's get a third message from D Divine Feminine to their Divine Masculine. I feel like you're keeping secrets. What are you not telling me? I feel like you're keeping secrets. What are you not telling me? So Divine Feminine, um, as the Divine Feminine is expanding their intuition, Divine Masculine, they're learning to trust their intuition better, deeper, stronger. And in this intuitive sense, Divine Feminine has mostly felt that Divine Masculine has been keeping things from them, such as their feelings, emotions, knowingness that you guys are connected spiritually, your deepest desires, your inner desires. And so the thing is that the stronger divine feminine is in tune with their um, intuitive side, the more they can detect when someone is not being authentic. So it's kind of like that lie detector test. So 
if a divine masculine says to a divine feminine, for example, I only want to be friends with you. I have zero interest in you romantically. And that is a lie or that is a diversion coming from divine masculine. Divine feminine is able to detect that because there's something called incongruence. But I do feel for divine feminines, I feel the solution, the key is to continue to focus on your spiritual journey, to continue to focus on yourself and to surrender, let go and let God. And then when you do that, you won't feel so overwhelmed. You can let go of the feeling of overwhelm because you're learning to trust. Again, surrendering trust. So I hope this was helpful, Divine Feminines, and also for the Divine Masculines who are listening for the messages. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on that bell, scroll to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other twin flames. And thank you so much for your support of my YouTube channel. You can buy a book or two or three. You can join a boot camp or a meditation course. You can also join my group coaching. The link is below. And I will see you in the next video.